But as you can see, guys, there's no data. There's no data here. So, that's the time we have to put or we have to start the coding. So, if you're ready, let's start the coding, guys. Okay. Let's go to event and then select this after update. Okay. After update. So, this is for the, this one, guys last entry status in or out so we have to type dim last rake or last record as variant so variant not string not integer but variant then dim empty name as string okay and then next for the picture okay dim sorry dim str picture uh, string and then for the value of this variable we have to put for the last record or last trick equals the lookup we will look up to the for the, the this one last entry let's open this okay it as um, copy paste to make it short guys okay entry status so entry status the name of the table or query this one last entry last entry sorry okay and then id equals single quote double quote and me that barcode that value and si double quote single quote double quote and close parenthesis so me that barcode so this is our criteria guys uh, this one and then amp id uh, this one id so let's proceed to the next amp name employee name equals so we have to copy paste this guys copy paste Let's put amp name. And let us check if it is really amp name. Okay, employee name. Employee name. Employee name and then the name of the table is employee list. And then amp ID. and id and the same barcode okay next is the picture guys so copy paste and then this one copy paste also so let's type this one picture path picture path okay that one So, now, for the value, for the value of this um, text box, let's put uh, F. F is null, or last, last record, then, me that entry status equals in. Else if last week equals to n, then me that entry status equals out. Another. So this is just to make sure, guys. Else if last week last record equals to out, 
then me that entry status equals to n okay and then uh, let's put in f to end this uh, function and f and then let's continue for the id number uh, me that id number equals me that barcode next for the name me that name equals imp name this one guys <coughs> next is for the picture this one uh, let us add a <coughs> text box let's put picture path me that picture path equals str picture this one guys what else um the entry status so entry description me that entry description equals this one guys last entry me that last um i mean entry status that entry status okay and in the time okay id number name for the time uh, me that time okay this is time a uh, transaction time the transaction time equals now let's check by the way the format of this is ah uh, okay this one medium time and then i have to put it in the center save okay form view let us try guys 101 okay this property is read only and can't be set first me name okay let us let us check guys it's normal to get an error guys this one let's put employee name so let's go back to the good me that employee name okay and then amp name so this is correct employee name employee list amp id okay that's it and let us try 101 okay it's really working guys next record 101 i will um for the picture guys okay this one data source click this and form i will uh, choose this one picture path this is the source okay and then hide no okay so that one last record so 102 it's still done okay time in 102 for time out okay it's working and then it uh edward the gulpan 101 time in 101 time out it's okay and let us check here guys in the login extended repress okay so there's a time in and time out let us delete okay 
and then um, unload let's go to new record so do cmd go to record okay select this one new record so get one new record let us close first yes open so there's no data I will use my ID number Eduardo Golpan 101 so time in let us check refresh okay work time 346 and in the entry status is in next when I swipe again out let us check okay 102 102 so in and out let us check in and out of it siljan so now uh, let us include the work ship the work uh, shipping schedule so that we will know uh, the early so here in the employee list so there is a field for work ship but we will create guys a um, a table for workshop schedule okay so it table so let's type name workshop name okay workshop So, where is the workshop? This one, workshop. And then, let us put 7 to 4 p.m. Okay. Next is 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. We'll design this. Huh? Close this first. And then, okay, close all. Yes, yes. For the workshop schedule, look up, then combo box, and then let us select those table workshop. Okay, that's enough. Yes. Okay. Um, bound column. And then let us uh, choose the workshop, but click, click these three dots, uh, workshop, and then uh, we will select this workshop, and then close, uh, yes, bound column 1. The workshop schedule is this one, and then, okay, that one also. So, let us try guys. Let's type them workshop as string and then workshop equals to uh, let's copy paste this guys. Okay, and then let us put workshop. Is it a correct uh, spelling? Okay. So here, me that workshop equals workshop. Uh, I will type str. So it depends on you guys. Okay, still our workshop.
so let us try one zero one okay let us check in the login extended so workshop okay this one and then again one zero one workshop but when I want to change the uh, my workshop workshop schedule to it so let us try one zero one so eight to five pm so that's it guys so this is important so that we will know about the schedule so that we will know also uh, he or she is lit so guys um, this is only uh, like 10% of the total output so expect part 2 of this video so if you are still interested to know how to create a DTR please consider subscribing this channel if you have not yet subscribed and please also click the bell icon so that you get notified about my videos that's all thank you see you to my next video